Okay, let's talk about managing uh, disk space or tracking disk space usage on our system. So I'm going to introduce you to a couple of commands here. The first is going to be df. So df is my disk free command. There we go, df. And this will tell me for every file system. You know what? Let me run this through more. Okay, for every file system, and here's going to be where your file system is. That's your first column. You're going to view the number of 1K blocks, how many of those blocks are used, how many are available, and what percentage of the space is used, and then what it's mounted on. So this 1K block is a very technical way to look at it. Let's do this instead. Let's do df dash h and that's going to be human readable so df dash h pipe it to more and that actually fit all on one screen so i didn't need to but here you'll see the size instead of the 1k blocks so your third one down dev mapper ubuntu vg it's a logical volume group we'll talk about that more later so that is our third one down that's 72 gigabytes this one is critical because if you look at mounted on, you'll see forward slash. That's the root of my file system. So the root of my file system has 62 gigabytes of, uh, total, and I've used 7.1 gig, and I have 52 gig free. I've used a total of 13%. Now you'll see some of these are snap core ones. Okay, those are 100%. We don't care about that. Um, what we care about is going to be our root, our dev, our run, things like that. Our boot is going to be kind of critical. We want to make sure that these don't run out of space. So this is a way that we can look and see basically how much space we have on each one of these volumes. Now, there's actually two things we need to track. The first is the actual disk space, and the rest is a number, of, or the other one is the number of inodes. You can occasionally, it's incred incredibly rare, by the way, but you can run into a situation where you actually run out of inodes uh, before you run out of disk space. So if I look at this, I can see that on my dev mapper, and remember this one is part of my slash file system, my inodes I actually have only used 3%, so I'm good. If either one of those two run out, by the way, either the space or the inodes, if either one runs out, then it can't write any more data to the hard drive. Okay, so that gives me my disk uh, my uh, space free that doesn't tell me where my space is being used for that I need another tool and for this I'm actually in the clear there we go I'm in the home folder and here's my command I'm going to do d uh, or du and I'm going to sudo this du asterisk and sudo is going to mean that I can actually do this for as root which means I can see everything so this gives me all of my files from where I'm at, and it shows me how much space is being used. Now, this isn't the easiest way to view this. There's a better way. So let's do sudo du, and we're going to do dash hsc. That's human readable and summary. And this is going to tell me my A Smith folder is using 28K. My David folder is using 60K. My file is zero. P. Peters 24K, sales 8K, and total is 120K. Now, I did this on the home folder just because it was going to be a good place to see. So if I want to look at this and I want to track down my disk usage, I can say, all right, David's using more than anybody else. So let me go into David and issue the same command, cd sudo duhsc, and that's going to tell me what I've actually got in here. So by looking at this, and you'll notice that's a little different. If I do ls-la, which will show me all of my files, you see where the rest of that space is coming from. So what makes this very useful is it gives me the ability to find out if I'm running low on disk space, where is that space being used? And I started this from the home directory, because but I could have started it from somewhere else. Uh, I could have started it from the root directory and then just gone exploring.
Now, there is another tool that we can use that's actually pretty useful, and it gives us an it gives us a way of kind of automating what we were just doing with DU. And that is the tool is NCDU. So I'm going to do sudo apt install NCDU. And that will install my NCDU package for me. And this will take just a second. And then I want to start in the home directory. So I'm going to do cd forward slash and I'm going to type NCDU. And this is going to scan my file system and it's going to show me here are all of my folders and then how much space is being used in each one. So I can see 3.8 gigabytes is in my swap.img file. And you see that little second, this well, third column over here, right here. This shows me basically how much of my space is being used there. And it's from this point on right so more of it means i'm using more space this one is using a little bit less in user and then in snap and then in var now if i want to go into one of these folders i'm just using my arrow keys to move up and down here if i want to go into one of these folders i'm going to hit my forward and this is going to tell me all right i've got 1.7 gig in lib 263 megabytes in src and go into the lib folder here's firmware and this is going to let me go through and find where all my space is being used up if i want to go backwards i just use the uh, i use the right arrow to go forward the left arrow to go backward until i get all the way here okay now i can navigate around and try to find who's using most of my disk space so this hit q to quit by the way becomes a very valuable tool when I'm trying to track down who's using how much space and what I might need to free up in order to, or what I might need to remove in order to free up disk space, or maybe not remove, maybe it's move it to another volume or something like that. But the point is, it lets me very quickly explore what's using my disk space, just in case I ever get to that point where I start running out.